What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And here we are with the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9. And this is the unboxing, but also this is the start of the playlist for this hardware. And the idea is to create a catalog of videos for yourself. That way you can make an informed choice of if this product, this hardware is right for you. Now, there are two reasons I was looking into the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. First, I was looking for something that had more specs to, of course, play games on here. But also, I wanted to try some new AI things because that's what this whole PC cycle is about. The new PC cycle is ideally going to push people to get more devices because of the increase in hardware capability to run AI locally or cloud. And I can think of one thing I would already like to try it, and that's NVIDIA's chat RTX or RTX chat. I'm not sure which way that goes, but I wanna try that out. And ideally I could do it with this device. And then second, I was having a really good time with the Lenovo Legion Go. Their handheld here works really well. I am very impressed with it. And I figured why not dive deeper into the Lenovo ecosystem. So that's why we are here. So all things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So again, here we are with the unboxing and this package is going to be pretty heavy. And we're going to have some tape here. And I'm going to grab my knife and I'm just going to cut that tape. And then we'll put the knife back away there. And then we're gonna have these two little pull tabs. And I'm going to hold this together. That way, the laptop doesn't fall out. And what we're working with here is the NVIDIA RTX 40 series. This is gonna be a 4090. And we're going to have 32 gigs of RAM. We're also gonna have Intel's latest processor. So we've got a lot going on here and I'm going to be learning this as I go along. But again, the idea was to get something that specced out really good. So we're going to have some styrofoam here and I'm going to pull this box out first. I'm guessing this is going to be our power adapter, which should be pretty big here, I imagine. So we're going to have a power cord there and then we're going to have the other portion of the power adapter. And I'm just going to take this out so that we can demonstrate how, how big it is. And it's wrapped in this nice paper sleeve. And uh, it's pretty big. It's going to be uh, definitely larger than a flagship smartphone like your S24 Ultra. It's probably almost about the same width, but a little bit taller. And you could think maybe uh, three smartphones, three flagship smartphones, like an S24 Ultra stacked on top of each other for thickness. And this has pretty good weight to it. So we're going to set this to the side. I will say for this unboxing, it's very similar to the HP Omen 16 we covered. There isn't anything really exciting here package wise. I know that ASUS does a really good job with the uh, unboxings of their products, or at least one of the ASUS ROG laptops that I tried out. That was a pretty cool experience, but this is going to be very simple compared to an HP Omen 16 gaming laptop. So we're going to have the laptop here in styrofoam. That's nice and snug, which is good to know because this isn't going to get damaged in transit. That's the idea here. So styrofoam there. Underneath the laptop, we have a Legion Pro 7i. That's probably product information. And I'm going to get the main box out of the way here. I will say those boxes are pretty big. And here we're going to have the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9. This has got pretty good weight to it and it's actually really cold. Uh, but here we are, this is, this is really cool. So we have Legion Brandon, 
I'm gonna turn this around. We're gonna have Legion Brandon on the left side of the lid. Lenovo Brandon on the right side of the lid. We're going to have our ports here on the bottom. And these are all labeled, which is really nice uh, with actual wording in some situations here. And I'm just going to prop this up to show that. And we're going to have some really large vents. That's pretty cool. And if we take a look at the chassis here, it looks like there's like some flakes here on the paint design. I thought this was just going to be flat black. And it pretty much is a uh, matte black. Actually, the official color terminology here will be Eclipse Black. And if we move to the side here, we're going to have two ports here. And I don't know if I could catch this on camera, but there's the side with the little flakes of black paint there. It's more like droplets. They look like little droplets, like splatters. And uh, I kind of like it. It's interesting. Very interesting. We're going to have another port on the side there. A headphone jack. We're going to go over this in more detail as I, of course, use this. Because my knowledge is very limited here. I actually need to brush up on the reading material. But let's open the lid here. And while this is opening, I will say overall this, ooh, this, this opens nice and smoothly. That's a plus. And what I also like about this lid when you open it you can put the display almost uh 180 like you could create a 180 degree layout uh, so that's pretty cool the the display flips 180 degrees not just um a little bit more than 90 you're going to get almost 180 degrees i don't know if this is actually useful to have the laptop in this orientation but i like it i like that that's a possibility. And then we're going to have some product information here. Lenovo services, actually. Information about Lenovo services. So getting the best from your PC with Lenovo services. And then we're going to have the keyboard here. Let's check one more thing, though. Let's just flip over to the underside. And there's the underside. So the underside looks pretty basic here. Not a lot going on. It's uh, overall a pretty basic looking laptop. We've got some nice risers there. The most extreme thing we're going to see are the vents here and maybe the, the housing uh, that the vents are in. Uh, but everything else is pretty tame. So, you know, what I like about this laptop is, of course, it's going to have RGB. We're going to have an RGB strip here. And then we're going to have RGB for the keys. Um, but if you have all that off, this is going to look like a pretty basic laptop. But again, the goal here is uh, to really use this obviously for gaming, but more AI stuff. There are AI features advertised for the laptop itself, but there are also AI programs again that we want to try like that NVIDIA RTX chat or chat RTX. So that is it for today's video. I just wanted to keep this very simple, but we will be working on more content. Of course, I have a lot to learn about this thing here, and I look forward to sharing it with all of you and educating all of you. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave those down below. And as always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.